Fucker. Fucker! How do I lose? Pogo, who asks? Kone, Jomlo, and Satsando. Chang, thank you, boys. Can you not see this? Brought a bucket for the water force. He called the hour of the hour. Crusader King 3 is a deep strategy game and a very loud one. If you're new to the world of Crusader Kings, we strongly recommend you play the tutorial. Alright. Welcome to Crusader Kings, you are a medieval ruler. Land is yours for the taking through clever marriages and diplomacy or by the way of the sword. There is no one way to win in Crusader Kings, only different ways to enjoy the story that unfolds. Camera 1 Basics. Use WASD keys to move the camera across the screen map. You can also move the cursor to the edge of the screen to pan. Press home key to take you into your realm capital. Blip. To zoom in now, Matt, use the scroll wheel. Alright. Is this your first paradox game? I think so. Uh, different information is displayed at different zoom levels. Uh huh. Soon then you have the ability to select and manage your holdings. Zooming out gives you an overview of all realms. I'm holding this. Alright. Next. Pausing. I thought you said this was real time. How is it real time if you can pause? Can you pause real time? Multiple areas in real time. Oh. Alright, Crusader King spans over hundreds of years and many generations. Right now, time is standing still because the game is paused. That's true. Great observation. 1066 AD. For this part of the tutorial, we'll keep the game paused while we walk you through some game concepts. Sure. Sometimes you will see blue highlighted text like this. This means you can hover your cursor over the words for more information. Nice. Some of these words can lead to other highlighted words, which can then show even further information. Oh shit, it's like the Wikipedia game, yeah? But how am I supposed to hover over the blue words in the other ones? Oh. But, what? what? It's scuffed. Oh, you have to wait a little bit until the whole thing freezes. Oh, okay. Alright, how far can we go? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It never ends. It's unlimited. Alright. Uh... <laughs> Loop. Book. To continue, place your cursor over this highlighted text. Hover your over the okay. Now, rulers of land two map. Now let's talk about the game. Everything takes place on the map before you. The world consists of large and small pieces of land, each belonging to someone based on their titles. 
Your tiles are represented by icons which elaborate coats of arms. The icon representing your realm is set by your primary title, which is the most important and prestigious title you hold. What is my title? This is my title? I have two titles. Where, where's my primary title? Is this my primary title? Duchy. Alright. I'm Duchy. The tier determines the position of a ruler or a title within the hierarchy of the game. All titles have a tier, which determines the highest possible tier of vassals that the holder can have. Empire is greater than kingdom, which is greater than duchy, which is greater than county, which is greater than barony. Alright, so you want to become the empire. Em em emperor, I should say. Empire strikes back. Alright, so that makes sense. The icon of your realm is set by primary title. My realm. <laughs> A realm is all that the land the ruler controls, either directly or through vessels. Alright. Okay. Borders. If you click your character's portrait, highlight in the character view, the border of your realm capital, Loimnach, will light up. Uh huh. No, what? I don't get it. Is this my character portrait? I don't even know. What will light up? This one lights up. Oh, on the map. Oh, oh okay, okay. But this one is not called... Luminac or something? What do you mean? The fuck? Your realm cap- Oh, there is- There is the capital. Ah, I see. Okay, okay. Damn. Tutorials are hard sometimes. Alright. <laughs> All right. Uh, Munster is your primary title, which is why your realm is named after it. Munster? Like a monster? Munster. Petty King Murchard Mac Donshed of Munster. Okay, this whole thing is called Munster. Right. And they have different regions. They have they have two regions and then sub regions. Oh my god, dude. I'm really bad at geography. You also hold the Earldom of Thomond as a separate title. Which is what? It's like a video game achievement, kinda. Like, as if a king would have like a world championship win, he gets a secondary title. He's a king and no. Earldom of Thormund. All right. So he wait. I don't get it. What does that mean? He he's the he's the motherfucker of this whole place, but he's. Is the Earl of, of Thormund? Of both. Alright. A little bit confusing, but I guess. If you zoom out, it will read monster on this part of the map because you are the top ruler of the area. Alright. Ruling over others. As a ruler, you can hold oh, you can only hold so much land on your own. You will often have other rulers helping with the administration of the realm by holding land titles within your borders, making them your vassals. To find your own land, your domain, press the home key and zoom in. Once closer up, you can use blue labels. You can see blue labels on the baronies that belongs to you. In this case, it will only be loon.
Alright. I get it. The Earl the Earldom of Ormond is held by your vassals. Okay. I understand. Characters You are role pl you are playing as one of them of you're playing as one of <clears throat> you are playing as one out of many characters in this world, represented by characters avatars. Your character is the ruler of the realm of our realm. You will need to make sure that your dynasty survives and thrives throughout the ages. Your titles gives you power and control over territory and other characters who might hold titles and land of their own. Click on your character. That's me. Characters have skills, indicating their proficiency within a certain field. Some are great stalk stalkers, and some are great talkers, while others prefer to make their intent clear on the battlefield. The main skills are diplomacy, uh -huh. martial, indicates how good a character is at waging war and leading armies in battle. All right. Stewardship skill. Stewardship is a skill that helps rulers manage their domains. It directly increases taxation, making it a very useful skill for all rulers. Okay. Learning. Learn. Intrigue skill. Intrigue is a skill representing your char a character's ability to understand and manipulate other characters and to organize elaborate plots. It is mainly used to further and defend against intrigue schemes. Alright, I like that one. Learning. <laughs> I need more of this one. Learning is a skill measuring a character's literacy and wisdom. The learning skill of a ruler affects the cost of increasing crown authority and also yields an amount of monthly piety. Piety? Piety? Piety. Piety. Final answer. Characters with high learning can be expected to have it. Extensive knowledge of all common scholarly endeavors, including theology, philosophy, language, and mathematics. Okay. Okay. Wait. What does it actually do in the end? Mon money. Is this money? Virtue of a character. Alright. Piety can be spent on various religious matters depending on government form. Okay. It's a currency. Traits. Three. Character. Characters also have traits, which can affect skills as well as how they react to things. These are illustrated by icons in your character view. So like uh, Rogue Legacy, right? Your characters have a random... Like a good trait or a bad trait, maybe, you know? Like this guy is bad in dead, so he can't fuck your mom, kind of thing. Some traits tell you about character's personality, like fickle, calm, or generous. Other traits are specific to how characters have lived their lives, such as education trait or commander trait. Alright, alright, alright. You are temperate. Temperate. Is that like calm? What is what is temperate? Balanced. Yeah, that's like calm. Yeah. Something in between. Wrathful. I'm wrathful. How can I be temperate and wrathful? That doesn't even make sense. But we're good at mar we're good at fighting. We're not good at negotiating. Impatient. I am what so What do you patient. call a Mexican does not own a car? Carlos. What do you call a Mexican who has a rubber toe? Roberto. What do you call a Mexican with siblings? Juan. What do you call a Mexican in America? Deported. Will all vote for me. God bless America. 
The last one wasn't so good. But I like the Carlos. Roberto. Alright. Uh, impatient. Learning minus two. <laughs> Hostile scheme power. Alright, alright, alright. From this, you can see that your character typically lives a modest life but expects others to do so also and is quick to anger when they don't. When a character chooses to behave against their personality traits, it can cause stress. And stress can give you various negative effects. Oh, just like real life. Traits can also impact how other characters react to you. Some people are impressed by the brave trait, while a lustful character is more likely to feature in salacious gossip. Salacious, I never heard that term. Salacious. Alright. Uh, Aaron, thank you for the 7 months. Mo, Rayman Function, Dragstar, Val Elaine. Thank you very much. Welcome back, welcome. All characters, yes, all. Have an opinion of one another, which drives their behavior. Low opinion can cause people to rise against you or be unwilling to help you. High opinion can, on the other hand, make characters more inclined to join you, join your murderous scheme, or fall for your seduction. Ooh. How you choose to interact with other characters will often affect their opinions of you. This is my opinion meter. Fuck. Here are my traits. I forgot to check where they, everything is located. Here are my stats. Okay. Gold. Four. To help you further your goals, you will need gold, among other things. Gold pays for buildings, armies, and bribes. Gold is collected passively from both your holdings and your vassals as tax. Larger vassals and more important holdings tend to give more tax. However, money is not all. Certain things can only be achieved by spending the right amount of prestige or, for religious matters, piety. Can we can we can we uh, get the pronunciation of this word right from the get go, please? Is it piety or piety? It is pi. It is piety. All right. Piety. Mm. Pi. Vanilla sauce. However, money is not all. Sorry. Uh, you can see the current state of your gold, prestige, and piety in the bar. To the top right. I only see. Okay, gold, prestige, piety, and what is this? Renown. Alright, prestige. Your prestige tells us how respected you are. It can be earned over time by holding lots of titles, for example, or actively, such as marrying into prestigious dynasties and fighting as an ally in wars. Whenever you earn prestige, you build towards your next level of fame. Higher levels of fame make other characters think better of you and bring powerful ways to wage war. IR legend! Some action cause prestige, like declaring a war. This allow you to leverage your celebrity for your own benefit and characters won't think less of you for using them. Aha. Uh -huh. But what if you wage a war for a good cause? Like... Why should I take a hit, you know? Why should I have to pay for prestige? Then it's free. Oh. Then it's free. Like oil. Spending prestige does not affect your level of fame, progress, just your current prestige. Alright. Piety. So glad we got that sorted. With a lot of piety, you will have an easier time interacting with your head of faith. Ah, oh, shit, religion. Uh, we're gonna become an atheist kingdom for sure. As you are Catholic, this is the Pope. Piety can be gained passively from the learning skill. 
and from virtuous traits or actively from choosing to do religious things such as going on a pilgrimage or a crusade I hope you have you also have a level of devotion which builds over time whenever you gain piety and can have positive effects for your character all right Similar to prestige, some action require you to spend piety, like declaring holy wars, or if you want to create a new faith, spending piety like this is normal and characters won't think any worse of you for it. Alright. Lifestyles. As well as traits, your character can also pick a lifestyle. There are five lifestyles, one for each skill. Lifestyles represents what you put the most effort into day to day. And each one has several focuses inside relating to it. Every focus gives you a unique bonus and make events associated with that focus more likely to happen. Click on the lifestyle button highlighted. This is my lifestyle. Now click on any lifestyle to see its focuses. As time goes by your character will earn lifestyle experience for maintaining a particular lifestyle. When you acquire enough lifestyle experience, you can select one of that lifestyle perks from any of its trees. Perks represent you practicing and developing yourself over time and offer unique bonuses like special traits or unlock lifestyle specific mechanics and contents, such as the ability to start abduction schemes. As an example, the strategy, authority, as well as the chivalry focus all give martial experience which can be used to buy any of the martial lifestyle perks the perk trees internally to different lifestyle traits choose a focus Which one is easiest to start off with? Maybe Marshall? Because of your martial education, you gain 30% more experience in this lifestyle. Oh, that makes sense then. Alright. Click on any lifestyle, see its focuses. Wait. Choose a focus here. Okay. Uh, strategy focus. Luck can win a duel. A fool can win a battle. It takes more to win a war. Authority focus. To rule is to make all the aspects of the realm move in a unison and work together. Chivalry. Victory comes not through blood or gold, but honor. Yes, I like this one. For honor. Victory comes not through blood. Yes, okay. So I get prowess, skill, how good they are. Uh, attraction. Attraction is a type of opinion that only affects characters whose sexual orientation matches your gender. For example, a homosexual man will experience this opinion towards other men. And a, a sexual character would not experience toward anyone. And a heterosexual woman would experience it towards men. This type of opinion stops having an effect for women above 50 years of age and for men above 65 years of age. <laughs> Why? Why though? Alright. They realize it's too late. Oh fuck, hello? Are we still here on stream? My bitrate went to fucking one. When that explosion happened, the lag. No, hmm. it was 
red. I only dropped 200 frames, so I guess it's fine. Right. We're picking this one. Other characters! Now, having selected a focus, we can move on to other people. If you're new to this game, interacting with other characters is key. And you may have many options to how to do so. You can right click on a character portrait, including your own, to get a list of potential interactions such as arranging such as arranging a marriage or initiating a scheme. This is also where you start wars, but let's try something else first. Open your character view. Right click on your heir's character portrait. What is what was the name? Big Mac? Brian Mac. Right click on your heir's character portrait to see the interactions available. Uh, I don't... Oh, right click. Alright. Uh, arrange marriage. Find a spouse. Uh, sway. Attempt to sway Brian. Send gift. Educate child. Alright, let's start with the basic. Everybody likes gold. Try sending a bribe to your heir. Bribe your own son? What? Try to use and confirm and send gift interaction. Alright, how much gold do you want? Pays fifty dollars to Brian. Brian. Brian Brian? Wow. I am a pretty shitty father. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, uh I guess fifty gold will make up for that shitty name. Gains ten opinion of you. That's nice. Unless they're shitty opinions. Like chats. Send gift. Well done. You have successfully increased somebody's opinion of you. Certain opinion modifiers last forever, like family bonds. Others will wane over time, like the fading memory of receiving a monetary gift. True. If you hover your cursor over the opinion number on another character, you can see exactly where the various numbers are coming from. Is it due to a marriage alliance, a gift of gold, or simply that they appreciate your honesty? Nature Opinion number is Where's my opinion number? Uh, I click here now and then Opinion Green number Yeah, but this is only his opinion of me. Where's my total opinions? Isn't that a thing? Like, the total opinions of everyone I bribed? Like, how, po how, 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 how much opinion? How high of opinion? You know what I mean? Each one is different. Okay. Okay, then. I understand. Uh, plus 84. Next. Wait, what was max? 100 plus? There's 100 plus to a minus 100, right? Two hundred. I thought it said hundred. Oh, I guess two hundred would be max. If minus one hundred is zero. Or what? Yeah. I don't know what the fuck. Okay, it goes from minus a hundred to hundred, but you guys say two hundred is max, and not one hundred. Now let's talk, next I can talk about your dynasty. As the game goes on, unless your character meets with an untimely accident or terrible disease, they will grow old and eventually die. Ooh. 
The story doesn't end there. It's only game over if you do not have an heir of your own dynasty. Oh, All right. So we need to cater to our heir a little bit so he doesn't run off to another kingdom or something. Uh, as long as you have heirs of your dynasty, your legacy will live on. When your character dies, you simply start playing a new one, the player heir. Depending on the type of succession your realm has, this is likely to be one of your children. Perhaps one that you groomed into, a ro into the ro role of a ruler. Your dynasty has its own coat of arms, which is currently highlighted. You don't need to do anything with this now, but if you want to look at the details of your dynasty here... Okay. This is me. And... This is my dynasty tree. Here's my heir. And my great, great, great back in my day. I can't fucking move this. Oh, fuck. I fucked up. Get me out of here. Succession laws determine how all titles and resources are divided between the heirs and the character when a character dies. You currently only have one heir, but let's take a look anyway. In some cases, when you take over your new character, you may even find that they are responsible for the untimely demise of your previous ruler. about that one. Are you gonna be angry at your own character then? Hmm. Open the realm view on the right side of the screen highlighted. Inspect the succession tab. Realm. Realm. Alright, this is my realm. I have some earls. I have, two, I have two dudes, a mayor, and then succession, we have this guy. Uh, as a member of a dynasty, you also have renown, shared by everyone in your dynasty. Renown goes up whenever anyone in your dynasty gets prestige and reflects how infamous or famous your family is rather than just you. Making significant strides in your renown will echo down the generations for your descendants, slowly increasing your level of splendor. As the dynasty head, the most powerful member of your dynasty, renown will allow you to unlock dynasty legacies that will benefit all of you. Unlike prestige, renown remains after a character's death. I, I want to say I understand, but this is, this is a lot, a lot, man. To ensure the future of your dynasty, you need family members. If It helps if you're married, but we cannot promise that you will marry for love. Alright, let's get married. For unmarried characters in your domain, you can set up marriages or betrothals by right clicking on the character and choosing find spouse or arrange marriage. The two options behave differently, so let's go through them both. Right click your own character, select find a spouse. Alright, what are my options? Are these farm girls or... Choosing find spouse opens a list of potential spouses. They hail from the from courts all over the world. Choosing arranged marriage also opens a list of potential spouses, but only with people from the court of the character you clicked. Your own character is visible on the left because this marriage needs your approval. Whoever is the liege of the other spouse will appear on the right side as the union will need their approval as well. Arranged marriage can be useful for matchmaking between your courtiers uh, or for setting up a specific marriage alliance. For now, find spouse is more relevant for our purposes. Okay. 
So where are we dropping? There are many factors to consider when choosing a spouse. To help you out, there's a filter available for sorting. Among things to consider, there are alliances, skills, personality traits, expected fertility, and more. How the fuck do you know expected fertility in the medieval times? H O, I guess. Some traits are congenital. Did I pronounce that right? Congenital. All right. Certain traits are congenital and can be inherited by offsprings through proper breeding. That sounds weird, but all right. It is even possible to reinforce some, such traits. For example, if both parents are quick. <laughs> There's a chance that their children will get even better intelligent trait. That even better intelligent. Alright, so this is like quick thinking. Alright, um Perhaps someone with a trait like that is a good place to start. You can change your selection by clicking the clear characters button in between the characters you're setting up to get married. Nothing will happen until you click send proposal. When you have selected two people from your for your marriage, you are presented with the details of the union along with additional options such as having the marriage be matrilineal. In a matrilineal marriage, children will be born into their mother's house instead of their father's. That's a thing back then. Alright. Uh, if you're happy with the marriage, go ahead and send an offer. When playing, the action will take a few days, but we'll make it work instantly this time. Alright, I'm sent I'm picking one now. Uh how old are we? We're 39, alright. Uh, where do you see the fertility, by the way? Is it this one here? No, this is their opinion. Hell, is it... It's invisible? What do you mean, invisible? Alright, who do we pick? I don't know. There, what the fuck? There are so many. What the hell is this fucking name? Oh my god! Alright. Uh, what is it? Zero? What do you mean zero? What the fuck? They're one year old, two year olds, five year olds. Are these the actual age? We usually can't marry those dumb ass, then why the fuck are they here? Maybe you can, but you have to wait. Alright, so what I what what should I filter after you think? What is like the main thing you filter after? Relevance? The, that's that's good. You just have it on relevance. You say age, but I feel like you're trolling. Toggle filters. Maximum age. 
Uh, I mean, dude, like, I don't know, dude, this is overwhelming. What, what, what would you pick? Like, what is a good one? Like, what? Filter by trait. Inheritable. Alright, inheritable. Quick. Uh, what am I? What are my traits again? Temperate. I guess we just. I just picked this one now. But she looks way older than 20. Uh. Look, potential alliance or something. I'm, 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 I'm picking this one. Alright. Who the fuck is this? Are you the dad? Wait, what? a hook all right we'll accept plus 75 what does that mean oh he's happy because because I'm such a great person Papa, stop it now I'm learning Greetings, Petty King, Merchant of Munster. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. You will be joined with my sister. Oh, it's her, it's her brother. Mencia. In holy matrimony. May God grant you long life and many children. Excellent. Excellent. May you live long and happy together. For this tutorial, recommended you use fine spouse for your son as well. As soon as your son is married, he can start producing members of your family and heirs to the realm that are of your dynasty. Dynasty and house. Family is important. The player heir will always come from your dynasty and more often from your house. In the future, it won't hurt to keep an eye on your family and their line of succession. Depending on their succession laws, you might end up inheriting titles along with land and vassals from your relatives. Not everyone in your dynasty will be landowners. Can I close this one? Uh, but every plot of land on the map has an owner. Sometimes that owner is you, sometimes it's one of your vassals, and sometimes it's another realm entirely. Many of whom also have or are vassals. Most tiles are structured together in a pyramid-like fashion using tile tier. County making you a count or countess. Duchy making you a duke or duchess. Kingdom making you a king or queen. Empire making you an emperor or empress. Every tier belongs to a tile one rank up the chain. Every county is technically part of a duchy. And every duchy is technically part of a kingdom. And every kingdom is technically part of an empire. Yeah. There are many dynamic names for these titles as well as... 
as well your current ruler is in charge of a petty kingdom which corresponds to the duchy tier okay there's a barons the minor rules of a single holding beneath counts these characters are generally quite minor and unplayable we do have one the mayor of Inus. We say technically, because as Crusader Kings lets you play with history, there is no way to guarantee that a king is actually in charge of all the titles that his kingdom is supposed to contain within its borders. We call this title Hierarchy de Jure, and if the structure has been broken, it is often possible to declare war over such territories. If you switch to Duchy Titles map mod, you can see that as the ruler of the Duchy of Munster, the county of Desmond should legally be part of your realm. Sweden, Småland. Uh -huh. uh, how do I go back to realm? Uh, uh, in Sweden. Wait, what the fuck? The hell is this? Chiefdom of Yokomoku. Fucking Sami place? Finland. Look how small you are. France. Oh shit. England. Brittany. Interesting. Very interesting, right? Impassable terrain. Hey, what the fuck is up with Africa? Oh, the hell? Can I close this? Like, excellent. Come mania. Interesting. Uh, all right. So the the jure title of Münster consists of three counties. Their names should be visible on the map. Thormund held by you, Desmond held by neighboring ruler, and Ormond held by your vassals. Yes. Ormond here, Desmond, and I own the vassal. That's why. But I don't own whoever. Uh, I don't own Thelmond, right? It makes sense now. All right. So, would you say that? Would you say that? Would you say that this part, Thormund and Desmond, are equal? They only have one guy ruling, and I only have one guy ruling here. But then I have this place too that I let my 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 dude take care of. 
but he doesn't have four. He doesn't have a secretary. You know what I mean? I have a secretary to take care of this part. But he has this all by himself and I have all this by myself. Alright. He's only a count, you're a duke. Okay, so we're not equal. Uh, Alright. Alright, so I am the president of the United States of America, and this guy is the governor of New York. Or mayor, whatever the fuck. Yes, alright. Getting closer to the truth. The counties are made up of smaller piece of land called baronies. It's on the, this level we find your holdings. Holding of settlement in your land. Holding provides different level of taxes and le ah taxes ah and levies as well as buildings that you can construct and upgrade depending on the holding type. It is not very important what you build right now, but we suggest you start by upgrading the bastion and curtain walls. Click on your capital, click on your capital holding Luminac and order the construction of a building. All right. Look at towers. What building do you want? I got them all. I got. Look at towers, high tents, and bastions. You want the bastions? All right. Bastion and curtain walls. The first step for any respectable fortification is the erection of bastions and curtain walls. They do a decent job of keeping enemies and rioting peasants at bay. Imagine being scared of your own peasants. Just ban them. Alright, I upgrade now. Three years left. Alright, we got some time to kill. Bida Gomgorix, Not Self, Atomic, Nate, J. LeBlanc, Captain Scott, Coco Man, and Flyer. Thank you very much, ladies. Welcome, welcome back. Well done. It will take some time for the building to burn it, though. Luminac wasn't built in a day. Ah, yes. It was not. Tax. Alright. Every holding provides taxes to their holder. Am I the holder? I'm the holder. I mean, if that holder is a vassal, they will also pay taxes to their liege, and I'm the liege of the of the vassal, right? Yes. So they pay taxes to me. Now I am the tax man. <laughs> taxes provide your main income of gold. Obligations can affect how high or low these taxes are. Times of war also affect the level of control in a country. County, which in turn affects taxes. I understand. Vassals, as a ruler, you're likely to be the liege of at least one vassal. There are rulers within your realm who have sworn fealty to you. Vassals supply you with money and soldiers. It is possible to both be a liege and a vassal at once. How does that work? You can't be the boss and the bitch, right? To continue, open the realm view on the right side of the screen. I mean, you, I guess you can, yeah. You just have a boss yourself. Open the realm view on the right side of the screen, highlighted. Yes. I can't see. Earl Rangvald Sigtrugson of Ormond. Uh, here's a list of your current vassals, along with some additional information about them. At the top of the list is the ruler Ormond, whose land you can see on the map. This is an earldom, a county tier, a fucker. Uh, 
this guy. So he's a vassal too, but why does... Why is this called Desmond then? But this is called Munster, the whole thing. If this guy is my vassal too. It's not. Your steward and vassal. It says. Not Ormond. Oh shit. Alright, my bad. This is Ormond. And who the fuck is this? Who's Ines? Where the fuck are you? This is Ines. Oh, okay. Ormond, Ines, and I take care of this shit myself. Wait, but how, what about this then? This bishopric. Huh? What the fuck is this? County holder. Uh, he's just for the city? Okay. Alright, I get it. Kind of. Uh huh. This is an heirloom. A county tier tile inside your realm. It's worthwhile keeping your vassals happy. This keeps them out of schemes and factions against you. No matter how mighty a ruler your character is, if your realm unites against you, either to depose you through war or just murder you while you sleep, your reign is bound to be cut short. Some of your vassals might serve in your council, making their opinions extra important, as they will be trusted with counselor tasks. There is a limit to how many vassals you can comfortably be in charge of before your realm becomes unwieldy. Going beyond this vassal limit affects your tax affects taxes and leave is provided to you. This doesn't matter for the tutorial, but when you start to build your own kingdom, be mindful of growing too fast. If you end up exceeding your vassal limit, you can grant lower ranking titles away to your vassals. Sometimes you can even create new higher tier tiles to consolidate the power in an area. So I, pr I demote people because I don't want to have too many vassals. Is that it? Kinda. Alright, I understand. Your realm is the complete body of land and titles that you own, including the areas held by your vassals. Right now, for you, this means the counties, called earldoms. Due to your Irish culture of Thormund and Ormond. Okay. So... Are we in an alliance here? This place and this place? No. It's just this is this is regions, right? These are regions. I need to go to Sweden so I can compare. Yes. These are these are regions. All right. These are regions, and this is our region, but we are not, we can be enemies or we can be allied, right? Yes, all right. Uh, all right, when domain is used, we are instead referring to the land that you own personally, without vassals, so on. Yes, so I own this. I used to have a little bitch boy mayor over here that I control. Note that there is a limit on how much land you can hold personally before you start incurring penalties, the domain limit. What are the penalties? Lower your income and vassal opinions. Okay. When you go above your domain limit, you will really use the grand title interaction on characters you are friendly with, making them your vassals. I understand. Council. Managing a realm is a lot of work. As a ruler, 
you have the help of your council. These can be either vassals uh, or members of your court as they act as your trusted advisors. There is one corresponding to each area of skill. Married rulers will also have their spouse assisting them. Open their open the council view highlighted. Counselors can be set to work, and they all do different things. You can change a counselor's task by clicking on the button near their portrait in the council view. Being a counselor is a prestigious position. Powerful vassals will expect, it, will expect to be chosen for it, and will be unhappy if left out. Jesus. How much fucking work went into this game, yo? Crazy. I understand. <sighs> Schemes are long term goals aimed at another character. They can have hostile goals like murder or abduction of your target, or be more wholesome, such as the befriend scheme. Open the Intrigue view, highlighted. Inspect the Schemes tab, it should be open by default. It's open by default. A good time to use a scheme might be when you find the line of succession not being as clear cut as you'd like. One way to get ahead is to simply remove the competition quietly and with no witnesses. Murder schemes come with a risk of discovery. If your attempt goes awry, it will make your character unpopular, especially with your target. No shit. To you, the sway scheme is made for increasing the opinion someone has of your character. Let's try it out. Open the council view, highlighted. Right click on your court chaplain, your bishop, and choose sway. Sway. How, how is that a scheme? Six, what is this? Prediction, predicted success chance. Alright. If scheme is successful, Sion's opinion of you will increase by 25. Expected time to complete scheme. Every month there's a predicted chance of 61% to progress. Based on scheme power versus scheme resistance. What happens if I fail the scheme? Does that not say? Random. Okay. Excellent. Once set in motion, your scheme will slowly progress over time. The time before a conclusion is reached will vary depending on its success chance, which can be affected by relevant skills. In this case, it's affected by your diplomacy. If you are unhappy with your scheme, you can always cancel it by clicking the abandon scheme button next to the scheme. Open the intrigue view highlighted. Excellent. One blur. Okay. Sometimes schemes can give rise to secrets. If you catch someone trying to commit murder, it's probably in their best interest to make sure you keep quiet. You can also blackmail them to gain a hook. Ah, a favor or what? Alright. Hooks represent a favor you can uh, call in with a particular character, encouraging or forcing them to do your bidding. 
As you play, you'll find many different ways to gain and use hooks. When you start playing, experiment with it. Next, let's pretend you have managed to get a hook on one of your vassals. You have gained a favor hook. Alright. This weak hook can be used for a number of things. One is to increase the obligation set by the feudal contract you have with the feudal vessel. To access the menu for changing your feudal contract, go to your vassals list. In the realm view, right click his portrait to choose modify feudal contract. Who is this guy? This guy is of Ormond. Alright, what do you want? Modify feudal contract. So I can increase the tax levels or something. Use hook. You can use your weak hook favor. Alright. Alright, what now? Oh my god. It's behind here. You must propose a change for a new feudal contract. What do I pick? You may notice that some of you don't know I understand. What do I what am I supposed to pick something like this or what? Like like this? This is fair for my hook, but not this one. This is too much to ask, even with my hook. Alright. Give me more money. Alright, I understand. War. Flyer 009, a Senrus a hoodie booster, and a wings of chicken. Thank you for the three years, man. Uh, Grusnik donates 300 bits and says, Advice friend, haha. Here, I'm not sure if you hold a duchy title for Munster or not, but the concept of de jure means you don't actually have control of the whole area, but by some legal right you probably should. For example, you might be the king of Sweden, but Gotland is an independent sovereign state, but as the king you would have a legal de jure claim to take it over. But legal, that doesn't make any sense because they're clearly not following your laws if they are independent. So legal according to who? I don't understand. According to you as a king, so it's your opinion. Legal, it being legal has no influence because they're not following your country's laws. How much money would it take for you to suck a cock until the man came? Don't lie either. By the way, at the end of Star Wars, the main character sticks his finger up his ass. I'd pay. Amount? I don't know. My soul? War is an essential part of Crusader Kings. There are a lot of concepts to cover, but for now, let's touch briefly on some of them. Briefly. <laughs> So the most important thing in any war are the battles, which are fought by armies. This I understand. Most of your soldiers will come from levies. But you can expand your army by employing men at arms, mercenaries, militia. If things get really tough, you can also hire mercenaries. Oh, wait, what? I thought these were the same things, but okay. Superior to levies. Alright. 
who owns these guys then? Who am I paying for these guys? Open the military view. Oh, yourself. Oh. Oh, so these are my soldiers. And these guys are the scraps that other people send me if I go to war. And they're worse. They don't send the best soldiers. They send the, the Special Olympic soldiers because they don't want to waste their best fighters. It makes sense now. Open the military view. I opened it. When a war starts, you will be able to raise your armies from this screen via the Raise All Armies button. When the war is over, you will have to disband your soldiers before starting another war. Rally points are mustering grounds for the Levi's and men of arms under your command. Alright. So, what are we seeing here exactly? Total soldiers. And most of them are the fucking plebeians. They they send me, but I also have six knights. One doesn't like me. One really doesn't like me. Wait, what the fuck is my son doing in here? And these are way more than six knights. Oh. Six out of six is the most I can have. Alright. To start a war... Oh shit. What have I done? Wait, I only have six soldiers. Why do I only have six knights? What about these guys? The levies? This span? Legitimate reason, a casus belly against another ruler. There are various ways to obtain casus belly. You might have the jewel tiles that, you, that makes you the rightful liege of your target. You might inherit. Okay, so like, people think this is morally correct. Uh, is a morally justified cause. Like, yeah, like, hey, this belongs to him. Okay. Of your target, you might inherit claims where you could pursue holy wars against nearby infidels. Although these are the most common, there are dozens of different types of causes bellies for you to discover and use as you play. Almost there, Cap. Soon we'll let you unpause the game. There are just a few things to go over first. Firstly, it's important to know that there are five different speeds available for you to play at. Press key one to five, easily switch between them, and you will be able to pause or change the pace whenever you want. Secondly, for certain important events, the game will auto pause for you. There is nothing wrong with playing at lower speeds. <laughs> I'm gonna need lower speeds. Increasing the speeds when things are quiet or slowing it down when you go to war. Generally we recommend you pause the game when inspecting menus or when you're faced with tough decisions.
To start the ticking of time, unpause the game using the spacebar or by clicking the play button. This will let days, months and years to go by. Arm is told to do so will move, events will occur on screen, letters will be sent and characters will age. Find a speed that is comfortable for you. My headset died. <sighs> All right. Um, Flocular donates and says, "Levi's are your plebeian peasants, untrained and no proper weapons." Men at arms are your properly trained professional soldiers. Mercenaries are hired soldiers from other realms. Alright, so the levies are the plebs. The men at arms are my subs. And mercenaries are my viewbots. I get it. I get it. Alright. Not bad. Alright. I understand. What now? Now, as a first task, let's remind your neighbor, the Earl of Desmond, who his rightful leech truly is. If it happens to expand your realm, so be it. Using the character interaction system that we went over earlier and selecting him via the map. Declare war on the ruler of Desmond. You should already have a valid Casus Belli as his title de jure. A part of your realm is de jure. Alright. To declare war on Earl. Okay. First, we go to military. Sorry, I lied. Uh, I want to click on this place, this guy. All right, declare war. I didn't forget, I just have an issue with the UI, all right? Look at that. Now, cease. No casus belly chosen. You said I don't need, it's the jure, alright? Oh, okay. The jure is the cause. Alright, their military strength is inferior to ours. That's right. All right, can uh, battles have RNG too? Even if they're inferior? White piece, bro. All right, we're gonna enforce the demands. Declare war. Declared war on Earl Muridak. He's Malden right now. Then we must raise the armies, no? Raise all armies. War! Sounds like it could be in Batman. You have successfully declared war. Now you should rally your armies. A button has appeared at the bottom of your screen to help you. But you can also do this from your military view. Why is it so loud? Can't hear anything. Ah! Oh, timely. What the fuck is this? Alright. Yo. I didn't turn off the song. 
I was just too slow for it to have any cool effect on the war. Uh, Alright. Whenever you rally point, whatever, wherever your rally point is, in this case Thormund, that's where your army will gather and await your instructions. Alright. I don't understand though, why do I only have knights or men at arms? Where is the fucking... Unpause. Oh, they have to go all the way from this place, I think. Alright, alright. Uh, now you'll have to unpause the game. Oh, no, Monk is. Wedding celebration? Not now, but my marriage to Petty Queen Mencia. The realm expects us to throw a suitable extravagant wedding celebration. It is well within my right to collect a royal aid duty as part of this, but some may consider it tasteless to levy an extra tax during a time of jubilation. Uh, of course I will collect it. Who pays for their own wedding? I'll let my subjects enjoy the festivities without worry or care. Yes. It is I. Generous and... I understand. To move your army, left click on the army on the map and right click on the area you want them to go. Perhaps the enemy capital barony. Uh, I don't know what the fucking Baron is. Where is Barony? Oh, wait. Am I supposed? Oh, here, Barony of Trial. There. All right. So to move your left, click your army on the map. This is my army, six hundred and eighteen. And now... Why is he going so fast? Look at the days go by. So fast. I'm trying to... Fucking attack here. Alright. Alright, he's going. It's really slow. Now that your army is moving, it is probably heading into battle with enemy forces. This can be a head-on encounter with other armies or the start of a siege. Battles will happen automatically if two hostile armies cross paths. Similarly, sieges occur when you place your army on an enemy holding. Oh shit. Am I winning? Seven days I can retreat. What the fuck? Ah, you only have four knights. I have six knights. I have 50% more knights than you. You little bitch. This is what happens. Flaps. Yo, Max is already dead. What the fuck? Is he retreating or what? Now that the army is moving, or a siege, your army is attacking an enemy holding. Click on the highlighted icon. Um, the spearheads. All right. Uh, find out how, how it's going. How is it going? They have fully fully stocked on supplies. 
Uh, normal health on the siege. Walls are still intact. We don't have any fucking siege weapons. You need to win sieges to win most wars as they increase your war score. Oh, what, what is my current war score? Where do I see that shit? Bottom right. War score plus 19%. Okay. Wars can war score can be gained by defeating armies in battle. So I need to get this uh, number to a hundred percent. No, wait, what? To a hundred percent. All right. Whenever a siege is won, it takes a few rounds of attack. Uh, the area will become occupied, changing its regular look on the map to a striped one. Alright, so they're gonna fight for seven months, or what the fuck are you talking about? What? What snacks? Uh, Coke syrup. And for me? I give you Coke syrup. Cookie. Two cookies. All right. Two fortune cookies coming up. Bug snacks. an idea of who's winning in a war you can always look at the war score in the lower right corner that's what I just did it goes from minus 100 to 100 and changes based on balance and sieges won or lost as well as territory occupied at 100% at 100 war score you can force the other side to accept your peace offer controversially at minus 100 they can force you to accept their peace offer all wars end in one of three ways. Victory, white peace, defeat. The exact consequences of any of these change depending on the causes belly used. And details for specific war can be found by right clicking on the enemy ruler as the king of a piece. Watching you play this reading simulator brings back memories from high school. When the teacher would make you read a passage from a book or some shit. In front of the entire class. Happy Ah, uh, that's a very long book though. Iron full, noble line, and drugs, thank you boys. Uh, that finish with one year says, Phil's good man, clap. Tinnitus. Why? I can't hear anything. What happened? Wait, what the hell is happening? Where's my tutorial, boys? It's gone! Are you winning? Why are you running? Huh? You gotta defend your city. Alright, we're gonna win this siege now, boys. But I don't know really how to win it. How am I doing? Alright, we speed up a little bit. Oh, alright. Oh, they got disease. Sickness is spreading. They got corona, but are we on the inside or no? Why are they... What the fuck? Do not come into the blessed lands of Olive. We shall smite you infidels with a ferocious wrath and leave your bodies strewn across the battlefield. By the almighty other we shall send all transgressors back to the fiery depths, God willing. Salam. What? Alright, so we want to win this, yeah? Uh, stalemate. What the fuck does that mean, stalemate? You're running out of supplies, are you not? No. 
garrison health, rampant disease. So it increases my siege progress when there's a disease going on. That makes sense to me. Four months left. All right, what is happening now? Bailey constructed. What is this? Bailey constructed in Luminic. Oh, it's my building. All right, so now. Do I uh, build something else now? He's attacking me? No one is attacking me. Wait, what the fuck is this? Why is he attacking me? Who's attacking me? Wait. Did he go by boat? Is that what he did? Did he take the boat with his fucking dudes and go here? Oh my god. The fuck? Yeah, what am I supposed to do about this? We just have to base trade. You do this shit in StarCraft all the time. I think I'm bleeding because I started attacking his shit. Uh, alright. But also, we build something now. What do we build? Hide pens. Uh, oh, I get 100 more levies. I don't need, yeah, I take this. 21 months, $150. Is that worth? I'm not sure if that's worth. Maybe. All right, it's building. Yo, what the fuck is this? Sinful Prince Archbishop exposed. Catholicism's fervor decreased by 10. One level of devotion. What happened? I don't know what happened. Was it my scheme? Oh, pedos. What the fuck? Yeah, that certainly wasn't my scheme. Alright. I'm pause. So... We're winning. Oh, they're running out of food, which increases 10%, so it's it's very increased right now. Starvation. Oh, they're getting fucked. All right, here we go. Are you winning? <coughs> I'm winning. Victory is near. Your war score is at 100%. You're now able to use enforced demands on the enemy ruler. Can you? Okay. Enforce demands. What is white piece? All right, so my demands are as following. My demands are... Well, I started out with petrol bombs and throwing bricks and stones. There were a hundred more lads like me. I never was alone. Soon I learned that bricks and stones won't drive the Brits away. It wasn't very long before I joined the IRA. IRA? Good. Uh, King Selex Thousand Bits says, I see some people in the chat arguing about different topics I have clearly addressed before during my administration. Plebs, take a seat over there. And regarding the whole girls with dick thing, just pick a side. Goodbye, fellow Americans. Uh... Am I still alive? Kappa 1, 2, 3. Nay! Fucking cunt. Wait. Pause. Welcome to Yukonda. My Chatterino died. So I'm wondering. I'm refreshing. I see you're a normal one. Alright. Seems to be working. 
Bowman uh, Donuts says, Fortune, I have you in my sights and I can strike. The only way that I will be sated is if the entire chat will let all or say goodbye to Mr. Force. Why are you so weird today? Why are you making no sense? I miss water bucket. Alright, so we can now have a look at our demands. Earl Murdak Mac Cardhack of Desmond. I demand that you become my vassal. And uh, I want 400 prestige based on their contribution. Uh, no, I want to give my vassals 400 prestige. How's that demand? Uh, no, these are not demands. These are just, okay. Increase his opinion of his allies based on their contribution. Spends 40. You gain 40 fame. Your allies share 400 based on their contribution. My allies share 400 and I get 40. You're not enforcing demands yet. To you, oh. I thought those were my demands. Congratulations on your victory. You have now experienced what it is like to make it through an essential part of the game. From now on we will stop the tutorial lessons appearing. No! I've grown so accustomed to your voice. My voice. You will have ever still be able to get some advice. Oh, thank God. If you open them when they pop their alert at the top of their screens in this advice, we will elaborate on the most important things you encounter. Thank you for staying with us and good luck. Damn. Why is my Chatterino being cunt, cuntish right now? It's like stop, it stopped working and shit. Disconnect from it. Are you having issues in chat too, right now? Updated. Motherfucker, I ain't updating this shit right now. I'm just using the original chat right now. Alright. To my liege, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Signed, Earl Murdoch MacCartack. I think he's sarcastic. Mods. You gained the contested county. So be it. Can I do no mercy? And still get the fucking... Oh, this all belongs to me now. Oh. Munster! What now? There are many things you can do now that you have dipped your feet in the essentials. Crusader King is about setting your own goals. If you want a suggestion, we recommend you try to become the King or Queen of Ireland. War is not the only way either. Oh shit. Advice, friends. Unite Scandinavia. No, I have to first become the king of this clown fiesta. Start a new map. Oh, you want me to start a new map? Okay. Okay. Should I not keep going a little bit to learn?
I feel like I, I, I just I play a little bit more on this one to, to just because now I know what the fuck my areas are and stuff and other places might be confusing all right and I've grown accustomed to their names uh, all right so we have some stuff happening here right so prisoner taken in siege you captured Earl Murdoch's son Don Chad <laughs> and his son Selachan what the fuck Wait, what? Oh, those are two sons of his. I thought this was the, the grandchild, and this is the dad of the grandchild. Okay. Uh, okay, so what do you want with this? Don Chad. Wait, he really hates me, this guy, right? He really hates me. Arrange marriage. Right. Why would I kill him? And then his dad will hate me even more. But I should probably try and kill him. Right, but he's a vassal. All right, let's uh, let's let's just try and see what happens. Uh, all right, are we disbanding the armies? By the way, now that the war is over, what happens if I don't disband? It costs money to okay. Disband all oh. monthly wage. All right. Well, what if I dis what if I disband them on the on the thirtieth? All right. Play Sweden. Yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm just I need to victory. Alright, so we dismiss every time. Heir unmarried. Alright, that's 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 a good advice, right? We not need to get this motherfucking guy married. But uh, he's not as good looking as his father. Alright. Uh, how old is he? Nineteen. What traits does he have? Arrogant, generous, impatient. Tough soldier. Yeah, I have an issue with this uh, searching thing, you might Uh What should I be looking for, you know? Relevance. Norse. Oh, shit. We get one of these Norse. Alright, Auslaug. Look for good breeding traits. Brave, wrathful, arbitrary. Okay. Convert to Islam for more wives. Look at their stats message. What stats message? This one? Wait, this one is intelligent. That's good. Or no, that that's irrelevant. Because she's a housewife, right? All right, we get this one. <clears throat> and no, use hook. No, send proposal. Will accept. He will accept. Who? Who are you? You're the. You're the who? Who is this guy? Huh? Father? How do you see that? How do you see it's the father? Or liege? 
Where does it say that? Underage. I don't I don't know where it says it's the father though. Alright, whatever. Uh send proposal. Alright, let's see what he says. Greetings, Petty King Merchant of Munster. I accept your marriage proposal. Your son and heir, Brian, and my acquaintance Lerben will be joined in acquaintance. What do you mean, father? You said you make shit up, chat. Minus 200 prestige? What? What minus 200 prestige? You will never escape the fate that lies before you. Death and suffering awaits, and unfortunately. The God man is waiting for you for What the fuck? You tell me to marry these two. So what? She was a fucking pleb? And that? And I lost 200 prestige? Well, you know what they say. Love is blind. Excellent. All right. My son doesn't care, right? He doesn't hate me though. Prestige. Yes. All right. So now that we have the wife, is she is she, is she already here located in Thormund? She's already here. She got shipped over pretty quickly. Alright. So, what is this? Ransom. Oh. Oh! Wait. Greetings, my amicable liege. Selan. Uh, oh, the son is there to me. Will you let him go in return of, for this offer? Pays $10. $10? Gains five opinion of Earl Muridak. Who's Earl Muridak? This guy for 12 months leaves the prison. Ah, so he's happy that his father is paying his shit. He doesn't understand anything though, but he's a thinker, so maybe. Uh, all right, you know what? I shall not accept. Actually. Why am I not getting opinions from him for releasing his son? Okay. I should get opinion and gold, you know, like, oh, I accepted your offer because I'm such a good person. Uh, all right, you have been released, but do I, do I have his other son? Uh, This is you. Court prisoner. No, I don't have it, his other son, but it's, yeah, okay. But I did capture two. Issues. Increase opinion. Your vassal, Earl Muridak, has low opinion of you. Increasing it with a personal scheme will make your life easier. Yes, that is an issue. And I said that too. So, personal scheme. Uh, intrigue. Schemes. Uh, can I only have one uh, scheme at the time? Or no? The 
only one at a time. Alright, so do we cancel this one? Uh, this is me. Where the fuck is this guy? Fuck. Um. Uh, uh, sway. Alright. Uh, 74% chance of success. And it will increase by 25 every month. There's a pretty good chance of 61% of progress. Alright. Oh shit, how long is left on this one? Wait, 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 everyone hold on. Alright, so, court. I've been already trying to sway this dude for like two years, right? Um, so it's been this long and this little remaining, right? So I should wait. I'm waiting. Right? Yeah, I'm waiting. Alright. Uh, powerful vassal demands council position. Um, how many council, how many positions do I have right now? Uh, six. And how many do I have in the council? I can't have that many. Wait, I do have that many. Who the fuck is this? Spy Master Bebin Brian. Twitch died. Kappa on the three. Oh. Who is this? Your aunt and Spy Master. The fuck? She's a deadly assassin. Alright, so who who goes? How, wait, how do I increase my council? You can't. Alright, so do I have to let someone go or... Alright, I have to pick someone. Uh, you're, you're, this is a vassal. This guy is also a vassal. Mayor. Oh, he's only a mayor of the city. He's only a mayor of this city. Uh, Alright, I'm afraid we're gonna have to kick this guy out. Alright, I don't know how to kick him out. Point. Look at stats first. Trusting calm. Yeah, I don't need this guy. Duchess. This is my queen. Oh. Can I can I kick my queen off the counselor? No, she has to be there. Alright. Uh so what how do I kick this guy? I should kick this guy, right? Wait, do I, can I only have, okay. All right, I fire this guy now. Or I just do this, assign. Why the fuck would I have him as, what? I don't want him. A sign? Yeah, but why should he be? Can't is it chancellor? 
Alright, whatever. We we'll do it. Where do I see? But he has... He has diplomacy. Alright. Alright. You are now my, my chancellor. Twenty opinions of you. Alright. Alright. There you go. He's excellent at diplomacy, so that's good. Alright, we solved one issue. Uh, you can declare war war on Earl Aid. Family members can get married. Your half brother. Oh, is this the guy I just fired? Bastards. Uh, well, I don't give much fucks about you. Alright. Choose Casus Belly to use against Earl Aid Mac Neal of Eilic. Uh. What is this? What is this reasoning? Your courtier has a claim. Your courtier. I don't know who this is. I don't know who this is. Who is this guy? It's a random in your court. He will become your... Okay. Fuck, Twitch is really acting up, huh? Alright. Declare war. Costs... Inferior. Alright. Raise all armies! Can't say. The fuck? Alright. We shall... Take our armies and attack the earldom of Alec. Why are you? Oh no 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 no! Why why are my guys not moving? Fuck! Idiotas. Alright, it's gonna take a while. But, in the meantime... Wait, whoa, 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 he ran. He fucking burst. Sprint. Alright, uh, how is it going with that? Uh, how is it going with that fucking guy? The fucking Pope, man. Oh, fuck. Uh, almost done. Alright. Fuck, it takes forever, this guy. Oh, no, 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 no. You have gained the trait wounded. What the fuck does that mean? Marshall minus... I'm, I'm fucking reading. You've gained a trade wounded. Where's the fucking log? Where's the log that was here on the right side? Wounded. 
severe penalty. Dread loss. Plus 100%. What the fuck? Oh shit. They don't fear me no more. Oh no, no, no. Alright. Wounded. My injured nephew. My nephew, Kenetig, has been wounded and the injury runs deep. I fear that his body is not strong enough to fight this on its own. I feel death lingering by his bedside. Uh, alright, well, I'm not a fucking doctor, so... Alright, but we will win! Or? Wait. Yeah, we're winning! Allied combatant. Oh no, a nobleman was slain. Can we send his family's flowers or something? This guy is 23. He's already bald. Alright. So how's it going with that fucking victory? Dismiss. How many did we lose? Yeah, that's right. Punk ass bitch. Oh, running low on supplies. Garrison health, normal. We'll see, we'll see. Levinera gets tea. Now, about that cord uh, intrigue. Are you fucking done, dude? I need to start another scheme. What the fuck are you doing over here? Wait. Uh, is shit happening in the other places right now? Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright. But uh, it's very important that we win this siege now. Alright. I won the siege. You now control Elik. You got $17 from occupying Elik. That's not a lot. Science is not swain. You will make another attempt. No, I will not make another attempt. What the fuck is this RNG, dude? I had 64% chance times two and I failed both times? Or what? Or maybe one time only. Alright, no, I'm not, I'm not doing this. This guy is a fucking pedophile. Uh... Now, we want to start a new scheme, and... Mm, we zoom out. Okay, so here, we kick this guy, sway. 74% chance, yeah, start scheme, boom. Right, I'm, I'm learning, yeah? Alright. Fuck, I can't see shit in this mist. Alright, now that we won this... Now that we won this... What? I don't get it. Isn't it supposed to say Munster over here? Or what? Oh, I don't have it yet. Oh, I don't have 100%. Wait, alright. Wait, where did I move the cam? I don't know. Top left. I don't know where, where the cam is supposed to go. Hey, it's me. The rightful ruler. Alright. Alright. That's fine. Uh, that is fine. Alright, so... We're co no, we are at 100%. Why are you lying? Enforce demands. Right? I'm, a, I'm always blocking something. What the fuck? Maybe... Right. Alright. Enforce demands. I got a weak hook. From who the fuck is this? Is this guy again? He looks familiar. 
My courtier. Oh yeah, that's the guy who I now appoint to run for me, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's, he's my vassal now. Um, Welcome to you, Kandil. Uh... Okay, so uh, he was in my gang, right? West side, right? But, you know, his dad owned the the east side. Like, I, I'm the gang leader. But his dad used to own the east side, you know? But then he died and someone else took over. But this guy was supposed to take over the east side, right? Uh, it was his right. So now as the gang leader... I'm like, let's go do a drive-by. And if we if we kill their, their, their guy, you will be the east side and we make an alliance. So I'm the gang leader on the west side and you are the gang leader on the east side, but you're still my bitch because I'm the more powerful gang leader. And it's all the west side. Yes. But this guy was not like a vessel before. He was just like in my gang, like a random. I didn't really know his name until he came out to me and we were like, I own the rights to this country. Yeah, okay. You get a weak hook. I would say a big hook for fucking giving him a whole country. Ish. 20 fame. I forget what fame is. When the character gains prestige, they also gain an equal amount of fame. So fame is... okay. Okay. Your allies share 20. Allies share 20 based on their contributions. Increase his opinion, spends 20. Alright, this is the bitch we took it from, right? I'm pretty sure. Enforce demands. Greetings, Petty King, Merchant. Why is my name Petty King? May wisdom ever elude you. You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. You better. You better. And now we disband. Disband. Alright. And now empty council position. Why? Was that was it was it my half brother who died who was here? Oh shit. Alright, well we had some candidates. Uh he's fucking he's so mad I kicked him off the council. Uh this guy's not too ha unhappy with me right now. Uh we needed someone with war experience, right? Is that not what the marshal is? Can I appoint myself? Sword by military strength? Or... No, wait. Uh, what is... What is the... Here, martial art descending, right? So he's the highest now, right? This is great, this is great. Alright. So who the fuck is this? Your knight. He's a gambler. Alright. Tough soldier. He's wounded though. He's wounded. I cannot pick him. We need to pick my nephew. <laughs> Gambler as a war leader. I mean, sometimes you gotta flip that coin, dude. His wounds heal over time. Oh, okay. Well, he is a knight, so that makes sense. But this is my half brother, and he's also a knight. And he only has one less point in martial, right? Shouldn't I take this guy instead? He's 39 as well. Dude, how is this guy 21? What the fuck? I'm pretty sure I take this guy instead. Now, I made that correct. Is lazy, forgiving, shy, forder, 
crosses water without advantage penalties. Oh, cool. Alright. Nepotist. Nepotism. Uh, Alright, I gotta, I gotta take a leak. to understand we're beginning to believe I am the chosen one rain HD thank you for the 20 months fresh pepperoni three years is park park thank you during the diamond eat snow sack and 80 hunter rot sath threat and doxy man man all right I'll be the greatest king Astics? Wait, are there Astics in this game? We don't even have that continent. Iceland? Haha. <laughs> Kingdom of Norway! This is also Norway. This is also Norway. Wait, is this factually correct? Did Norway actually own this shit over here? Like this part here in specific? Not anymore. Yeah, no. Vikings. Oh, this is where they came and set up camp. Ah. Yes, but of course. Who lives here? Impassable terrain. Siberia. Why does it end only here? Or why does it end here? Wait, why does it end here? It's Europe. Wait, this was Europe? This is Africa. This was considered... What? Welcome to Uganda. Oh, this was the known world at the time. Huh, you didn't... Oh, shit. No Uganda. Nude. Alright. Well, we are a little and insignificant part of the world right now. Uh, Alright, so what do you expect me to do here? You think? Powerful vassals expect council positions? How do I know how powerful someone is? How can I tell? Like this guy, I fired him. Vassal tab. A Vaseline court. Where do I find Vassal tab? I forgot. Realm. Not realm. Uh, realm. All right. So these are all of the vassals that I own, and they're all powerful. How does that make sense? They can't all be powerful. <sighs> One has to be the weakest, right? 
Um, all right, this guy fucking. I thought this guy was just. Just a mayor. Why the fuck did I kick him off? Whatever. Oh, compared to me. All right, so. What, where do I see, where do I see, uh, how, how powerful they are? Like, where's the actual difference here? I don't see, like, is it their army or what? Realm size. Realm size zero. Realm size one. Yeah, how do I know the difference between realm size one and realm size one? I have to look at the army or what? Or do I look at the stats? Army. Army money. It only says how much they pay me. I guess that's power, because if they stop paying me. Alright, so... I mean, I can't... So what exactly am I s supposed to do here about this? I can't have everyone on my fucking council, you know? So, so Feudal is what I want mainly look at. Take land for yourself. So I currently own this land so can I take this land and kill the guy who's who's over here how much land could I hold I forgot there was something about that domain one of six holdings all right, but all right, it will cause a revolt. You can revoke land. Wait, I can revoke and they have to, I, I can take this over peacefully and, and they can't do anything about it. I mean, they're gonna mold, but. Okay, okay, well. I mean, whatever. Um, they can they can be angry, and if they become too angry, then uh, they're gonna have to face the consequences, you know. All right. So right now, something is going on over here. Who is this army? Raiders of Vexkö. Uh All right, we have some motherfucking sweets. Uh, they're they're out of there. What? What does this mean? His wife is in in prison. I don't. Did he imprison his own wife, or I'm not sure what the fuck is going on right now. Imprisoned by Count Toke. All right, where's this dude? In Sweden, his wife is in prison. Okay, so why don't they like me? They don't even know me. They don't even know me. Mouse over opinion. To now I lost him. Sven. 
Sven Snusberg. Growing up in Sweden. Why does he have a nose piercing? Alright. Whatever. Uh, Alright, we have to take over this whole continent here. Now, this belongs to me. This. Can I see, like. Alright, we don't want to fuck with any. These are all separate ones, right? All separate. Prematurely. The child was not meant to be. My wife, Petty Queen Mencia, assures me it is the rate of life, but her hand lingers on her belly. She is no longer pregnant. Oh shit. Well. We go again. Alright, so strategically, who owns this place? But I have no good cause. Okay, this is a good this is good practice, because I have no good cause to declare war on this guy, right? Wait, I do have it. Who is this? Earl Rangvalds. Your steward and vassal. Who the fuck is this? Count of Ormond? Oh, is this the guy? Why does he look so different? Do their hair actually grow or something? This is the guy over this? That, uh, that, that I attacked, the first guy? No, Ormond. Oh, sorry. Aha, okay. Well. Oh, all right. Available perks. Uh, what? Do I pick one of these? Why are these red? Why? Why are these red? You have them already? Oh, really? Okay. I have these? Wait, I start here, right? I, 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 I pick this one. Right? Right? Because I already went all... I already have all of these. So this is the best one, right? What does it do? Control growth factor. Control. Okay. Why not? You gain the trade overseer. Thank you. Oh, but when this guy dies. Oh, I have to do it, I, I have to... It, this doesn't stay. Yeah. Okay. But, we have to take over, our goal is to take over this whole one. This whole uh, island. Island of what? Ireland. Alright. So... How can I see the size of their army? Greedy. Oh, he's a very skilled tactician. Hold your horses. Is there anyone worse we can go for? Flamboyant trickster. Aha. Uh -huh. He's trying to trick me. Alright. We'll see about that. Aha. Uh -huh. So, I don't have a cost there, but let's go with the ones that we have a cost for. Wait, how did I see their army? How did I see their army? He has 15! What do I have? I'm 19. Alright, I'm not gonna attack these guys because he seems fucking hardcore. Let's be honest. 
Alright, this guy is the leader of this place, right? He's a little bitch. He's a little bitch. Alright. Alright, so we have to... We have to... Uh, oh, murder scheme. Wait, what is the current scheme going? I have an aunt who's really good at this stuff. Right? Uh, but why is this taking so fucking long? And why is he so misplaced? Wasn't it like minus five before? It's second try. Fucking Christ! Why? How is it? Se how is it second try when I have seventy four percent? Fuck! All right, we go to war with this guy. Never mind. All right, we gotta we gotta take this guy right now because fabricate your own claims. How do I fabricate a claim? Will not accept. Cancel. Alright, so I have to go through this guy. Uh, seduce. Okay. Okay. Request claim. Hello, Forzen. This is your president speaking. You have 24 hours to enable Tech W, or I will send Zeal Team 6 to extradite you from Sweden. Go ahead and enable poppers while you're at it. Also, Pog is dead. Disable that emote. Thanks. No, I don't think so, to everything you said, basically. But nice bait. Alright, foreign affairs. Is that, does that count as foreign? What the fuck is foreign? It's foreign, right? Bishop. Bishop. No, but you said not bishop. Religious relations. Fabricate claim on county. Yes. Ah! What happened? Alright. Uh, we fabricate a claim on these guys. Right? Send your bishop to fabricate claim on county Earl Athon. Yes. Your court chaplain current task. What the fuck? Eighteen months. All right, eighteen naked cows. All right, we close this. And uh, yes. Five in speed, yeah. You lost the trait wounded. Oh, that's nice. Wait, advice faith religion. All characters believe in a faith, which in turn belongs to a religion. For example, Catholicism is a faith which belongs to Christianity. Every faith is different from every other faith. Let's take a closer look. Open the faith view. Doctrines, doctrines, religion. Your faith has a number of doctrines. These doctrines set rules for members of the faith and govern many things, such as gender, succession laws, available, or what characters can hold temple holdings. Tenants. 
tenets at the top are special doctrines that give bonuses or options for your characters like the ability to meditate or participate in great holy wars. All faiths also have sins and virtues. Okay. All faiths have fervor. Right. Which waxes and wanes over time depending on the number of adherents to the faith. How holy wars are going and more. Fervor represents how fanatical almost most members are the faith are feeling currently. Shit, I can't read it. What the fuck? Including the many unwashed peasants across the world. When your faith fervor is high, it is easier to convert counties using convert faith in county to your faith. And counties of your faith resist conversion to other faiths. When fervor is low, however, rulers might decide to abandon their current faith in favor of another from the same religion, spawning a heresy. Heretical rulers will convert along with their closest territory and vassals, and are free to spread their new faith in place of the old. From the faith view, it is possible to create a new faith of your own. Doctrines and tenets will cost a certain amount of piety, piety depending on which tenets your current faith has. This is not something to worry about for your first character, but it can be very fun a very fun first goal to work towards when you're feeling more confident. I understand. Tooltip modes are now are new to CK3 and control how you access highlighted text. Alright, yeah. If you're an experienced player you just prefer to have your tooltips log automatically, we recommend trying to action mode. Start a multiplayer game, you will be able to pause. What? Why will I be able to pause in real time? Dude, how am I supposed to compete in a multiplayer game? Alright, fabricate claim. Petty Queen Mencia gained trade. Pregnant. Alright. Very good. Will not accept? What do you mean, will not accept? Oh, the Pope will not accept. The fuck? Murder. Alright, very good. Uh, wait, why is her face now on this fucking city? The fuck? Alright, is this done now? Lookout towers. Oh, she's there. Alright. Am I always building something? This doesn't even cost me anything. It cost me something. This seems... This seems kinda unnecessary. I think we save money. What the fuck were those guys? My babies. Praise Saint Brigitte. Mencia has given birth to two perfect little children. What? Two? What the fuck? Are they twins? Come, my dears, and what shall I call you? Uh, Merchad. After you, after your father, after Mencia, after an ancestor, a good Catholic name. Uh, I guess a good Catholic name. Wait, is my heir? Hang on, is my heir? My son? Or who is he to me? Your eldest son. Where's my where's my first wife? Dead. 
Not good. Bialis, thank you for the t uh, one year. Force and happy. Nice. Frozen bag. Cooptastic. Sean Luge, thank you, boys. What's news to you at the moment? I don't. <laughs> you killed him. I didn't kill anyone. Alright. After. 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 An ancestor. Lope. After an ancestor? These are all names that I already have. Okay. Salvador. Wait. Oh, I can name him. Oh. Alright. Alright. Just so I know who's who. Alright. Greetings, Petty King Merchant of Munster. I have prowled through documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make the case that you are the rightful lord of the earldom of Athlon. All that is missing is one little bribe. Uh bribe to who? To this guy? Or who who's getting the bribe? Some random dude. Alright. Earl Conchobar loses 30 opinion of you for 10 years. Is that the guy I'm attacking? Or who is this? My cousin? The fuck does he know? Wait, I'm attacking my cousin? I think I think I picked the wrong Alright, whatever. I think I picked the wrong one. Is this the place I'm attacking? Where am I attacking? I thought you knew. I didn't know. He looked different on the on the profile picture. This was not the guy, was it? Fuck. Or maybe it was. I had no idea this was my fucking my cousin. Alright, well. Now it's too late. Now we wasted our gold. Alright. Which means, cousin, we're about to go to war. My claim. He has, an inf he has a bitch army. Raise all armies! Charge forward! As, as fast as you can. Oh, fuck! Wait, I'm not ready. Shit, hang on. I fabricate a new one while we fight. Wait, they expanded! Oh, they expanded! Right? So now we're a little bit afraid. Uh, we already have a claim on this place. I'm just gonna take this place. I don't always have to be fabricating, right? Or should I always be, be fabricating? All right, so fabricate claim on this country. Wait, I don't have a claim, right? On this country? I say country. All right. Uh, ooh, they have 619. What is my military strength right now? 758. But that's a big one. Alright, we'll take it. We'll take it. Alright, fabricate. Fuck. Yes. That's good. 
of Desmond. Yes, yes. All right, why? What is happening? Is he doing the thing? Yeah, he is doing the thing. Too early? No, I don't think so. Because I will win here before this claim, and then I will have this army too. All right. What the fuck are these guys doing? Are they attacking me? You have no spy monster. Wait, what the fuck happened to my aunt? Wait, what, what the... What? She left? Why, why did she leave? I didn't do anything. Where is she? Can I find her somewhere? She's dead. Uh, why didn't I get a notification when someone dies? Watch your step. As a ruler, there are many who would scheme to see you dead. Try to make sure that your subjects have a high opinion of you. Those will always keep your spy monsters loyal. You attacked her son? Fuck, unlucky. It could have been the other cousin. It happened to be the one cousin whose mother is in my fucking council as a fucking spy master. And now she knows all the secrets. Having a spy master with a very low opinion of you can be a death sentence, as there's then no way for you to discover secret schemes. Uh huh. Alright. Uh, we gotta get a spy master here. Let's go on LinkedIn. Um. That's good. That's very good. Who is this guy? Earl, is it this guy over here? Yeah. Alright, he can be my spy master. I don't see anyone better than than him, right? He has 13 as well. He has 30. Sword. Sword what? Sword by... By... Uh, intrigue skill. Yeah, it's him. Like, this guy is a negotiator. Fuck that guy. Right? Deceitful. That's pretty good, right? For intrigue. But I think he is the best one. And also, he doesn't like me very much, so... It would be good if he, uh, my vassal is also my spy master. Right? He will be happy to be... He will be honored. Plus 49. Boom. Right away. Wait, what? This is not... This is the wrong stat. No, is this is... Yeah, this is opinion. Terrified. Dreadful reputation. Yeah, you better be... You better be afraid. Alright, so these guys are fucking... These guys are marching their way. Alright, should I switch now, now that he's plus? Should I switch to another one? Yeah. Alright. Abandoned scheme. Alright, now... Let's see here, what schemes do we have? We have a scheme to take over Dublin, right? Oh! Mm. Oh. What if... Why are they attack- are they attacking me right now when I'm fucking- I should've fucking fenced up here. Alright. You can have several schemes at the same time. Wait, can I? Like, can I have two personal schemes? Mm, 
No. Alright. So, let's see here. Let's say this guy is very good at war. But is he good at... Not eating poisoned food. No, he is not. Eight fucking years. Every month there is a predicted chance of 10% progress based on scheme power versus scheme resistance. Where do I see scheme resistance? Oh, so he has nine, which is pretty good. 8% doesn't seem very good. I'm not, I don't like this one. Uh, who owns fucking Dublin, dude? Who owns Dublin? Wait, what the fuck? Dublin is gone. How the fuck did this happen? This was all Dublin and now... Wait. I'm fucking fighting over here and they just occupied Dublin. Do I get two for one? It's regional. Yeah, I didn't know these were fucking friends, dude. What the fuck? I didn't know this. Wait, what the fuck is over here? What happened to my shit over here? Didn't I own this shit? Wait, what? I'm so confused. This is realms. I am... I am confused. I'm not gonna lie, I'm confused now. Dutch default. Oh, okay, wait. Which one is default, regions? Which one is default? This one is default. This one is default. Alright, this one is default. No. Realms. Wait, what? I'm so fucking confused now. Wait, so... When the game starts... When the game starts fresh... Isn't this how it looks like? Always. No. When the game starts... Does it look like this? Yes. Yes! Are you kidding me? This is how it looks like when it starts? Welcome to Yukonda. The Jur... Is historical. Yeah, that's why I thought it was default. Those are the Jur maps. Wait, which one do I want to be in? Which one do I want to be in? I want to see what's going on right now. I want to be in realms. Alright. That's where I want to be. Okay, so Dublin is fucking chilling over here. Alright. I get it. We finally got it. Alright. So... This guy is resistant. This guy, he has no fucking idea. Sway. Murder. Why is it 8% still? I guess it's too OP otherwise. Uh, as long as scheme is... What is this? Predicted secrecy. So it's 23% chance for it not to come out. He 
he likes me. Oh. Who don't, who don't like me. Uh, this guy doesn't like me, but that makes sense. Everyone likes me. Why am I feared? Uh, everyone likes me. Alright. So, instead of instead of murdering, we should sway. Yeah? We sway him. No? Unpause. Yeah, we're thinking right now. I have to always have something running on the schemes, right? Always something. What should I run as a scheme? Sway my own vassals, maybe. Uh, Alright, who, who likes me the less, least? Should I sway him? Like, should I like... He doesn't have any land, really. He's just a mayor. Whatever. Alright, we're saying. Sway. Uh, Alright. Alright, so I am actually under attack. I'm actually under attack, and it's just like Vikings. This guy just has a fucking temple here. I think I fucking raped my priests. Um... You attack? I didn't attack this guy! This guy? I attacked this guy! They're not- they're not a team! These guys are not a team! It's his army? Oh, it's his army. Then why is he walking in this- in this neighbor's country? Oh, I thought this guy was attacking me while I- Okay, alright, now we fucking- Okay, we're done. Yeah, okay, you have no time. Five months of this shit? He's gonna fuck up my whole shit over here. Alright. Wait, he's going for the fucking keep? Alright, what do you have? Fully stocked supplies? Alright, we're fucked. I upgraded my stuff over here. You cannot do anything against me. You cannot do anything against me. We have... Fully stocked supplies. Healthy citizens. You don't even have enough soldiers. You can't even attack me, idiota. Yeah. Idiota. And now, his base shall be mine. But I am sad I didn't get a notification about my aunt leaving me. Why didn't I get a message at least? Oh, prisoners. Alright, siege is won. Then I shall claim what is rightfully mine. Which is your land. And you become my bitch. Greetings, Justin. May your years be short and miserable. What? You are a much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Oh, look at this. Yeah, yeah. It's starting to look like something. Maybe like a... A turtle? A giraffe turtle? We'll see. Uh... Oh, wait. Why do I have now... What, what does this mean? It's a castle. This is not a castle. Killing his own family. I didn't kill him. I didn't kill him. Uh, disband all armies. And now, prisoners taken in the siege. You captured Earl Conchabar's wife. Ooh. Rape, 
Rapacious Blackguard? 54? Wait. And his grandson. I feel like they're all called Conchobar. Wandering, unmarried. Alright, I have your son. But I don't have him. I guess he has to work for me. Well, she likes me at least. <laughs> that's not, that's, that's fine. Um, alright, so, uh... What the fuck? Sadistic? Can use hostile schemes against Everyone, their own children? Look at this cover. We are in audience with a divine being. The Lord himself shines over Mr. Forsen's head. He is indeed a true God game. Imagine being a doubter. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, L Y L. Imagine being a doubter. I agree. Kiyosuke Emerald Shovel with the two years. It's four sound to pig. What's up, sir? Enjoy your golden E edition of the Force and E badge. Grimscar Lamal and Diogo K. Rico. Thank you. Uh, I have an idea. What the fuck is this shit? Sadistic. But she likes me. Arrogant. Amateurist plotter. Really. She's good at. Yeah. Negotiate. Torture. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she would like that. No, then you're a masochist, no, no, I said this, sorry. Uh, move to dungeon. Uh, why would I torture her? What do I gain from that? Torture can relieve stress. Can relieve stress for callous and sadistic, but I'm not either. Alright, so. What is the dungeon? What is the dungeon? Imprisoned cat in the dungeon suffer from increasing stress as well as health penalty in time. They are likely to die from illness. Or suffer mental breaks. Okay. Uh, ransom, I guess. Because he insulted me. Or he didn't, but he didn't wish me well. Alright. For a favor, we'll accept. What is this? Hundred what? What is this hun hundred? I don't know what this is. She has no money, she gives favor. County control. I release your fucking wife. Your control of the earldom of Athlon is low, reducing the taxes and loot that you receive from it. You can send your marshal there to increase your control over it. 
uh, my marshal on my council, correct? I can send him there. What does that? How 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 does that work? The buttons. Wait. So you're telling me I can? On your marshal. Oh, here. Increase control in county. Train commanders. Organize teams. Okay. Yeah. Why isn't he going? Left click on location. Right the send task. Right click to cancel. It's not going. It's not working. I'm clicking. Hey, stop with the fucking space spam. Fuck. I'm trying to read advice, friends. Why can't I do it? Left click on location on the map. I'm clicking here. I'm clicking in fucking Athlon. But I can't, it doesn't do anything. It's not yours. What do you mean it's not yours? It is mine. Is it not mine? Wait. How do I see what... No, it belongs to me. You have gained a favor hook. Is this the wife? Yeah. Alright. I will remember that. A good deal. Alright, so why can't I fucking increase control? Oh wait, I'm doing it. Two years. The fuck? Alright, that's fine. And he's doing this shit right now. And what are you doing? You're not doing anything. What does a steward do? The main administration for some matter of taxation, culture and development. Okay. I think you should... I think you should... This text is made to look like advice spam, however, it is not advice spam, but rather anit advice spam. Fucking idiota. <sighs> Alright, so you, do you always want to have one thing running or not really? Like per guy in your council. I feel like you should always... But some of the things are maybe not. Find secrets. Alright, what do I want to do with this guy? I feel like I want to find secrets, right? Can I... Should I find secrets in my own place? Wait. Why, why are these blue while this is green or this is green? Blue is yours. Yeah, this is also mine. Oh, chances of intimidating vassals. There are secrets there. Where are the secrets? Oh wait, this is not owned by me? Well, I thought this was owned by me. And this is not owned by me. 
Uh, this is owned by vassals. Your vassals own it. Okay. Blue is your vassals. Yes, but is this not my vassal now too? I, I'm so confused. No. You control it. I control this. I control this. You own it personally. Why did I end up owning this personally? When I had this, I did not. What is the difference between me attacking this place and me attacking this place? Welcome to Uganda. You had a claim. I fabricated a claim. He fabricated it for me. But this one... Who had the claim here? It was some guy over here, right? The guy over here had the claim here. Or someone. Someone else had it. The Jew. Alright, alright, okay. I get it now. I get it now. Okay. So, where do I want to investigate secrets? I'm starting to understand. Yes. In my own or in like a new one I just took? Like which one of these four? Or maybe even, no, which one of these fours? Your own capital? Oh, it's not, it's just a capital I can pick? I cannot pick... Welcome to Uganda. In your court. Secrets in my court. Is that what I'm looking for now? Shit. Alright, so what is your idea? Uh, is this something I should be doing with this guy? Yes. No. Who is he doing this on? I don't understand. Random. Okay. Okay, and everyone is doing something, I feel like. Except for this guy. No, he's doing this. He's collecting taxes. Okay, he's already doing shit. And my fucking wife is not doing shit, of course. Alright. Uh, advice. One of your counties have low control. This means you'll get reduced tax. Yes, I already sold that. Rightful liege. You're not the rightful liege of a vassal. This will lower their opinion of you and make them give you less taxes and lose. You should strive to be the rightful liege of all your vassals. To do this, you need to hold a title that is one step above them in the juror. Was it? Is this the fabricated one? Is, it, is this the, the vassal that does not consider me the rightful liege? Yes, okay. Well, I mean... Alright, that's fine. You can't, you can't catch them all, right? When conquering new lands, you'll often get new vassals, of which you are not the rightful liege. Planning your conquest properly can mitigate this problem. Mm hmm I like it. To avoid having too many vassals that dislike you, we recommend that you try focus your conquest within one the Jew area at the time. That way you can eventually become the rightful liege. Make a note of checking if you can create new towns. Okay, I understand somewhat. Uh who left the prison? Oh uh, this one. You owe me something. Okay, so Am I inviting her to my gang? I 
I'm inviting her to my gang, right? I have so many people in my gang. Uh... Is that what I want to use my, my hook for? No. Seduce. My wife won't like that one. If scheme is successful, Grain becomes your lover. A lover is a special relation here. I out of its marriage career. A secrets, okay. Secrets we can do. Alright. Sway Major Doofus. Why though? Because it's a positive one. Is it bad to interrupt? Thirteen months. All right, this guy is fucking mauled as a motherfucker. We'll have to wait with this woman. All right. Uh, wait. We also have. We also have. Uh, the fucking son, the fucking daughter, bossy. Alright, you know what? Uh, I will release. Wait, what? Did I re already release her? Do I have Alzheimer's? Oh, okay. Never mind. Alright. Uh, what is this? I got a point, is that it? Uh, Cass's belly cost minus 50. Minus 50, what do you mean? Either I have a cause or I don't have a cause. You mean when I'm forging a cause? Is that what it is? Okay, that seems pretty good. I like that. 50% fire sale. All right, motherfuckers. Culture. Every character encounter belongs to culture. Cultures represent many things most often. They are linguistic boundaries, but sometimes they are more a shared heritage than language or even a broad geographical grouping. Characters who share a culture also have a slightly increased opinion of one another. Your character is Irish, meaning other Irish characters will like you better. I'm out of fun! I'm reading! What happened? Can this fucking guy stop molesting children? Alright, we have to do something about this guy, clearly. Like, he's giving our religion a bad name. Uh, culture determines which innovations you have access to. Ooh, innovations. It is possible to change a child's culture by having them be educated by someone of a different culture. Okay, open the culture. Culture view. I don't see it. I don't see culture. It's nothing is highlighted. Bottom left. Alright. Innovations are the various inventions and adaptions a culture has thoroughly adopted. Although the concept of, say, coinage is easy to grasp, it takes time for people to completely adopt the use of currency instead of bartering. Innovations provide access to new bonuses, buildings, and men-at-arms for all members of a culture. 
All right. So this is like science, right? This is like inventions and shit. Uh, Irish innovations. What do we have? Potato? An innovation can also progress faster by being the culture's fascination. Fascinations is set by the cultural head, the most powerful ruler of that culture. Um, I understand, but I don't understand exactly how to... Are, are, are green the ones that we have right now? Yeah, they are. Um, so what do I want to do in this tab right now? This game is overwhelming. It is pretty, pretty overwhelming. Uh, I feel like I can't choose anything. Oh, I can. Is it working on? Oh, wait. It was working on this, I think. Right? Expected to be discovered in about 23 years. Kill prisoners. I don't have any prisoners. I release them. For good faith. And a hook. That's fine. Alright. Uh... We're trying to sway this molding, motherfucker. You can seduce the Pope. I can't, I'm too old. Cyan is not attracted to men, Kappa. <laughs> Big Cap. Uh, all right. So we're currently getting control over this and we're currently making a claim on this place right heresy walden waldensians in capua duke richard of capua okay hang on i need to find out what capua is what is capua take take me to take me to capua In fucking Italy. Alright. Some guy in Italy. Uh, has announced to the world. That he and his vassals. Have converted to. Waldensianism. Having become disillusioned. With the teachings of the Catholic priests. The nobles of Capua. No longer considers the clergy. To be righteous and true. As Waldensians. They believe their new faith. Properly aligns with the will of God. And they are distancing themselves from their former religious institutions. Okay. What twisted mockery of our faith is this? You know, they do have some good points. Why would I want to convert so that they see us as uh, I if this was a, like an, a strong neighboring one Then I can see converting because you don't want to get attacked by these guys, right? But now I don't see the reason like they're like a little colony in fucking Italy All right, what twisted mockery of our faith is this? As a my, my What 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 twisted mockery? Fuck, I tried. What, what twisted mockery of all faith is this? Is this? Is this? Gotta work on my Irish. <laughs> Alright, now what the fuck is happening? Alright, seriously though, this guy. Can you stop? Welcome to you, Uh... We have to offer ward. Whatever. Duke Robert converted to wall. Wait. 
Oh my god, it's spreading faster than Corona, dude. Uh oh. Well, we're safe over here. Espionage, lovers. Will, while performing his duties as my spy master, Earl Domnell has uncovered a secret held by my nephew, Conchobar. He has secretly taken Cassine, a commoner from Falin, as a lover. This is useful to know. How is this useful to know? I guess... Wait. I, I don't understand how this is useful. Is this the guy? Wait. Is this... Nephew? Nephew? Who is this guy? Do I know his... His dad? Blackmail your nephew. And why did he find this out in my village? Or in my capital? When this guy is from fucking Thomond. He's located in Thomond. Oh, that's this place. I thought it was this place. Okay, never mind. Now it makes sense. Okay. All right. This is useful to know. Uh, however, why is it useful to know? Where do I see? Where can I see my fucking gossip, man? Yeah, I wanted to see what I could blackmail, but. Where, where, where do I see the fucking gossip? Hooks and secrets here. I found it. Alright, so he don't like me very much. Uh, secrets known to me. Alright. Strong hook secret. Oh, I will gain a strong hook. Hey, right, she's too far away for me to interact with. Where the fuck are you? Where, do, where, where are you located? Located in Dala Bergslaga. That's fucking Sweden or what? Take me there. What the fuck? All right. And why were you even there, dude? Why were you even there? All right, so uh, blackmail for a hook. I blackmail this guy now. A lover. He will accept. A hundred percent. Aha. Blackmail. Now I have a hook over him. Blackmailing family. Well, it's important that they know their place under their rightful ruler. Um, all right. So once that scheme, now I want to send her on another. Right. Um, now she's not working. He's not working. Sorry. No. He's. Wait. What? In your court. Oh, he's still working. Ah, he's still working there. All right. Blackmail. You got a weak hook. What is this? Text for ants. Plus fifteen opinion of you. All right. Fifteen is not very much. All right. What's going on over here? Uh, these guys are. They're fighting. Gain 10 opinion of you. Oh, that's good. And this I don't have to... This I don't have to refresh either, right? 
Uh, it's this guy's work, correct? This one just this one is just continuous. Yes. All right. All right, they're fighting. Whoever, wait. Am I not getting a claim on this place? So we want these guys to win, right? Then we get two birds with one stone, right? If these guys win... Because they own these guys if they, if they win. Swade. You're welcome. Why are you in my country, though? They're fighting in my country. Or? No. Wait, what the fuck is going on? Why are they fighting in my country? Greetings, my amicable liege. Despite our best effort, my agents have yet to uncover any secrets here at the court. I do not believe we will ever find anything either. There is less going on here than a graveyard at noon. Ah, uh, very well. You know best. Unless he's in on the secret. Uh, we have a good court, apparently. Alright, but then, you know what we could do? We could intrigue. Sorry. Um, now disrupt is this one is this one on right now disrupt schemes so he will find out about schemes by default support scheme all right all right that's good. Uh, they're fighting all around me. I'm attacking whatever place survives. Uh, is there anything I should be doing right now that I'm not doing? Like in terms of uh, the court or... Greetings, Petty King Murshad of Moonstick. I have prowled through documents both... Oh, okay. How, wait, how much did he ask for? Fuck. Eighty-four. Oh, we have eighty-four. All right, so now we have a claim here. We can attack these guys. Uh, but right before that, court phys f physician. Right. So, what are you doing right now? Religious relations. You're currently... Blah, 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 blah. Alright. Alright, so... What the fuck is going on? Why is everyone running into my country? Okay, who, win who, who won the fucking war? I have no idea. Are these guys weak right now? Can I see that? Somehow? 333. It's nothing. 482 in their whole country. Three hundred eighty three. Oh my god, look at these guys. They have a thousand dudes. I have to I have to attack these guys. These guys only have forty four! They're about to lose. Should I attack them now? Should I attack these guys now? Or should I wait until they conquer this? Wait. Now. Now wait. You're like split 50-50. Let them get weakened. Yeah, but they're gonna win. That's the question. They're gonna win any second now. These guys have no... Sh they're about to fucking lose this shit, yeah. Alright. 
Why? He doesn't like me. And this guy likes me. Easy decision. I am declaring war. On you. This is my claim, as you can read. And you're vastly inferior. Raise our miss! Charge forward! Are they actually sieging right now, though? Right now? Is this going on right now? Maybe not. No, they're not. Over here they are. Alright. Also on pause. Oh, that's nice. Good job. Oh, you're running low on supplies already? This is a little bit of a bitch tactic. I wonder if, if other people would be like, hey, no honor. Oh, shit. Vassal taking person. Wait, what? My, my guy got taken captured. Where the fuck did this happen? Vidra Fjord. Yeah, I want to see where this is. Right, who? How did he get captured? You have been under attack for a long time. What? I haven't been in an attack. I won that fight. Wait, what the fuck? So who attacked me? To you, By Earl? Who the fuck is this? <gasps> I knew it. It's the super military guy, 18. He went to his own war. Wait, what the fuck? You have been in battle for years? I did not give you this permission. What the wait? What what are these stripes again? What are these stripes? I remember him saying something about the stripe. It's occupied. So it's already fallen, right? The, I've already I've lost this to this guy. Well, I shall retake it, and I shall not have an incompetent fool. He got released. Neighboring ruler won war. Your neighbor Earl. Uh huh. Has won against your vassal Earl. Uh huh. Well, why is it still green though? Why is it still green? Welcome to Yucanda. He didn't take it. Because they haven't won the war. Oh, they have to... Are they coming for me? Oh my god. I didn't... Oh my god. How long is this taking? 21 days. Now what? Don't smash it. They don't smash it. Siege won. Loss of popular respect. Earldom of Athlon gained chafing control. Uh, poor martial skills. Alright. Well, I don't know. The f popular opinion. Well, fuck you. I am busy with stuff. 
Siege is won. I won this fight. And uh, I want to enforce demands. Yes, I, I pause so I can end the war. To the abhorrent petty king, may wisdom ever elude you. You are much greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this budget, I will comply with your commands. Yes. Alright, so now we own this. Right? But this guy, this motherfucker is attacking us. Do we disband or do we rush them back? How does that work? If I'm being attacked now. He's not attacking. Wait, he left? He fucking left? He disbanded. You want I want that war too? You captured Petty King Aid's granddaughter. Wait, who the fuck? Wait, who is this? Who is your father? I don't know how to see who her parents. Who is this guy? Oh, it's this guy's daughter. Damn, that's fucked up. But what about this fucking idiot? Over here. He just he just stopped? He just retreated? You were his okay. He never declared war on you. Then why was he walking all the way over here with his army? That was connect. That was my my vassal. Your capital was b being seized by your enemy and you won the war. No, 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 I won the other war. I won this war over here. I captured this one, that's what this notification is. Oh, that was the guy I was at war with. Oh, he... So that, okay. It needs to be more clear, I feel like, in terms of... Uh, maybe every other guy is like gray, black, black and white, and then the ones that I am and I'm fighting with at the very moment, they are colorful, you know. So they're like, they're like background characters walking around. It's red. Oh, is it red under them? Okay, I didn't, I didn't know that. To me, it's just a lot of colors everywhere. All right, so we won that. And this guy started a war with this guy, and then he got captured. Um, and he doesn't like me. Uh, uh, are you captured right now? No, he's been released. He's been released. Alright, why did you start a war? Request claim. Should I request a claim? He had a claim. Oh, well now I have the claim. I can, I, I can control. Okay. Aha, it's his claim. I get it now. We checked this before. And I had a claim for these guys. Uh, I disband now. I always had that claim. Yeah, I remember now. But I didn't want to go to war because he was OP. But then he decided to go on his war on, on, on in like attacking by himself or something. All right, disband. All right. Well, I feel like I learned a lot today, for sure. There's a lot, dude. This is very overwhelming. If you never played, if you never played the earlier games, 
or or really any game in the genre like this. I never played Civilization either, so this is very overwhelming right now. But uh, yes, I think I think I, I picked up some stuff. I feel like I picked up some stuff, and. Uh, What is the what is the end goal? Like total world domination or like Is that even possible to get everything? I guess it will be like some sort of split map based on two big regions in the end or something or three or four. Alright, alright. Seems good. All right, all right, all right. Very good. Uh, tomorrow, okay, yeah. Uh, tomorrow is Wednesday. Yes, I will be back tomorrow. Um, we'll see if we continue this a little bit more, or if I will start a new one. But we'll do some more of Crusader Kings. Uh, tutorial. Mode. Uh, I'll do multiplayer if if it comes to that when I feel ready. All right, I don't want to lose to my fucking viewers. That's fucking disgraceful. So yeah, we'll we'll probably postpone that a little bit. Uh, Poopy Pugeteer, thank you for 23 months. B Rattles, Little Dale with the gift of tier three sub to Alamog. Oh, thank you, man. Tony Dangers, what's up? I am Joseph S. Evan Ballado Perso, the real Costuro Costurso. T-Fan, Uga Booga, Taco for Spacko, Tony Jackson, Dillers, the N is gone, Akaobi, Abner Mash, Dilapane, 69 months, XQZ me, any other day. Thank you boys and girls, welcome, welcome back. Omega, Omega MK, 19, tier 3, sub, gifted, thank you. Very much, boys and girls, I'll uh, see you guys tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of the evening, morning, afternoon, ladies. Wherever you may be from, Flo's and welcome back. And I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, good shit.